תוצאות הבחירות באיראן זורות אופטימיות ברחבי איראן ובעולם כולו, חוץ ממדינה אחת, קטנה, שאצלה העסקים כרגיל. ראש ממשלת ישראל, נתניהו, דאג להזכיר לעולם כי רוחני כינה בעבר את ישראל שטן, ושאין להתפתות למשאלות לב בנושא הגרעין האיראני. אבל יש קולות אחרים בכנסת שבחרו ביום שלישי השבוע לקיים דיון על ההשלכות הגלובליות שבנשק גרעיני באזור. התנועה הישראלית נגד גרעין הזמינה לדיון את דוקטור איירה הלפנד, מומחה עולמי ומי שהיה היושב ראש של ארגון הרופאים הבינלאומי למניעת מלחמה גרעינית, ארגון שזכה בפרס נובל לשלום. That is not an acceptable future for our children. And as long as we have these arsenals, that is the danger we're going to live with. And sooner or later, something is going to go wrong, and we're all going to be dead, and there's nothing we can do about it. That's the problem. That's what is different about nuclear weapons from other weapons. The threat is not by the good guys who are trying to defend themselves. The threat is by the bad guys who are threatening the peace of the world. So what are you doing here? But those who already have it, and I'm talking about the evil side, know that it'll be a disaster for them to use it. That's my uh, uh, philosophy of, of how to avoid a war like that. The logic that you have talked about, I think, makes great sense when we're talking about almost all weapons. But with a weapon that can destroy the entire planet, even if there's an accident, the logic doesn't work anymore. That's what Einstein was getting at when he said, the splitting of the atom changes everything except the way we're thinking. We have to change the way we think too. These weapons are not a force of nature. They're not made by God. They were made by us. And we know how to take them apart. And we need to figure out the political process that will let us do that.